Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you this pen tablet, which is perfect for digital note taking, doing some artworks, and more. So do you find iPad and tablets a bit pricey as of now? And you want to achieve your dream digital handwritten notes and uh, just do some digital artworks without those too expensive stuff? then this DecoFan Pen Tablet by XP Pen is the one for you. I would like to thank XP Pen for sending this pen tablet and I will be giving you guys my first impression and honest insight on this one if it's really worth it. And by the way, a disclaimer, this is not a how to make digital notes etc video, but I might do that in the future. I'm just gonna work on my handwriting first. Anyways, and yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So once you receive the product, it comes in this cute colorful box and it shows here at the top the brand XP Pen and at the bottom portion is the specification of the pen tablet, the color, dimensions, and etc. Once you open the box, you will eventually see the pen tablet itself and it comes with these accessories. You will have this thank you card, a product guide with different languages, and a warranty card. You will also have this USB-C cable, a stylus, 10 extra nibs, and a pen clipper. They sent me the red version of the pen tablet, but this comes in the three other colors. And at the bottom part, it has this rubber thingy for it to stay in place and to prevent it from slipping. And the stylus has these two buttons. Before you write on the pen tablet, you have to take off first this plastic film. The pen tablet's drawing area or the surface has this matte finish which I find really helpful to have a like continuous writing on the pen tablet. Your hand can easily glide on the surface and it's really smooth. It's like an actual matte or a paper-like screen protector on an iPad. And again, it has this rubber thingy under it to prevent the product from slipping during you write or draw. This is the stylus that comes with the pen tablet. And in this portion, you can see here two buttons that will be very helpful to have a continuous flow when writing. And it's really comfortable in the hands. And for me, it's the right size for a stylus. It doesn't feel too loose on the hand or it's not very bulky. You can also easily navigate or use the buttons. So to connect the pen tablet to your laptop, use the type C cable that comes with the product and um, your PC will just recognize it. Well, in my case, it was just automatically recognized by my laptop. So once you plug it in, you will hear a sound that indicates that you plug in a device and it will successfully recognize the pen tablet and you're now ready to use it. The stylus can easily pick up the strokes or like the actions I do with it. It doesn't feel tiring when you will use it for a long time, unlike on a regular ball pen and this doesn't feel rough. I mean, you will have this continuous flow or movement when writing. You can also navigate your laptop, like searching on the net, opening apps, and more by using the pen tablet. And just a tip for you to be very comfortable using it, you have to do some practice and try to use the stylus as a mouse. In the meantime, honestly, this is the first time I use any pen tablet, and this Decofon pen tablet of XP Pen offers me the important basic stuff that doesn't involve pro or complex menus which i'm impressed with i also love the quality of this one and this is indeed a beginner and a student-friendly affordable pen tablet and here i will test it out using OneNote. so i use the one with some grid lines and then change the color of the grid 
By the way, I have a video on my channel about digital note taking. Using this app OneNote, I will link it here in the iCard. So since we're going for a handwritten effect, the draw tab will be our best friend for this video. By holding the stylus and when this round shape appears, you can enable the lasso tool and easily move or resize the elements or text. If you want to change the pen thickness and color, click on the color wheel menu. Their deco fun pen tablets came in three different sizes, XS, extra small, or extra small, S for small, and L for large. They gave me the small version which I think is a great buy and a best choice for digital note taking. As I've told you earlier, the stylus can immediately pick up the strokes you're doing and it eventually shows on the screen. Since I have the small size, the dimension of this one is 159.8 millimeters by 210.5 millimeters. And the thickness is 12.9 millimeters. The Decophon pen tablets come in four different colors. There's the classic black, carmine red, space blue, and the apple green version. This is really useful not just for digital note taking but also for work, especially if you're a teacher and if you want to annotate the lessons since we're on an online platform as of now. And if you're an aspiring artist, you want to do some digital artwork, and you're looking for an affordable pen tablet, also you can use this for some games and other uses. You can also navigate your laptop, even though the stylus is mid-air, you can click the button. If you do that, if you want to click a certain app or window, or you can also use the stylus to click the window or app on your screen directly. And now I will show you the different thicknesses of the pen from 0.25 millimeters to 5 millimeters. Here I'm just using the lasso tool to adjust them, and on the other side, I just write here letters and numbers. Here I'm using the pen tablet to navigate the web and by clicking on the search bar you can use it to search or write directly the website you want to open. Since I want to open Google so I just write here Google. I'm using the stylus now and honestly sometimes I'm a bit lost if where the cursor is exactly but it's not that a big deal for me. Um, I have a link below in the description box to the website if you want to check it out. And it is compatible with many platforms. You can also use this on an Android phone, on Windows, Chrome, Mac OS, and more. After those writing sessions, I just noticed some very minimal strokes on the pen tablet surface. It's not that visible in the camera since it is very light, which I think it is just normal and not that a huge issue since obviously it's a pen tablet. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. Overall, I do love this product and I recommend it to students who want to start with digital handwritten notes. And you, if you want to try this one and want to have an affordable, beginner-friendly pen tablet, then I recommend this one to you. Click on the link below in the description box and in the pinned comment if you want to buy yours now. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. Yeah. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!